Hi guys, uh, welcome back to uh, Kitchen World Gamers and back to my kitchen. Uh, on this video, i um, just about to set up a, a gaming table, so I'll show you how I turn my little kitchen table into um, a 4x4 gaming table. So uh, I'll crack on and uh, you can watch me in the process and see you in a bit. Okay guys, um, so I've just been busy bringing everything inside from around the, uh, the side of the house. Um, if you want to see where I store things, I'm on Instagram now under uh, Kitchen War Gamers. Uh, there's some pictures of my uh, little shed out there where I keep everything. So everything's indoors. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Keep that dried out mouth. <clears throat> so... I'll be flitting about, um, I'll keep the uh, camera rolling so it might get a bit noisy. Uh, I might get in front of the camera obviously because I've got some stuff just by next to the camera. Um, but you'll see the process of what I'm doing to uh, turn this uh, kitchen table into a war game table. Now sometimes what I do with my battle mat, I just throw it over that as you've probably seen in some other videos. And uh, play there for small games or practice games or if we're getting used to the rules uh, and uh, to make a four by four foot uh, table, well, just under, um, I use the polystyrene um, builders um, things that they use, uh, which you can just see on the uh, right hand side of the screen. So I'm gonna crack on, um, forgive me if I get in front of the camera, like I said before, and uh, the noise, um, but you can see how I go about it. Okay, here we go. So, first off, get a piece in the middle, and uh, wall on each end. Get them level and squash together. Okay, and then to keep that a bit more steady, what I do is get some duct tape. Just uh, cheap duct tape from the uh, local uh, DIY store. Okay, that's that secure. So if I wanted to, I can move it around. Um, so there's a bit of um, leeway with it. Okay, next the battle mat. Now this battle mat, I don't know if it's still in camera. Uh, this is from Deep Cut Studios. It's their mouse mat one. Uh, so it's like a rubber backing, just like a mouse mat. And this uh, helps it stick to there as well. So I'll just get it out. And it's good with these uh, bags it comes in because they're clear. So if you had uh, a collection of them, you can see straight away which um, field you're going to be using. I'm hoping to at one stage to get a um, four by four winter one. Um, I've got a video coming up about uh, unboxing and making a King Tiger tank and at the end of that I talk about uh, my ideas about getting a, a winter uh, war game and scenario going either fighting in Russia or reenacting the Battle of the Bulge or the Ardennes Offensive Offensive Okay So just roll that out get its all overlaps at the end Straighten it up. There you go, my 4x4 table. 
Okay, next thing I do is um, I lay the roads out. Uh, the roads I've got at the moment are uh, from Deep uh, Cut Studios again. It comes in a six foot roll. Um, and what I've done is cut it down into um, one foot sections. So it gives me a bit more leeway. And you get these um, rounded corner bits as well, which you can uh, put how you want them. So we'll join them up like that. So, right, um, I think what we'll do is we'll start straight down the middle. Excuse me one second. There we go. And halfway through, um, just to change it up a bit, put some corners. Uh, this is quite good uh, in game if you can get um, like an anti tank or a machine gun team down here covering the road. If a vehicle's following a road, straight into your uh, ambush. Um, sometimes as they go along, change it up a bit as well. So I've got two pieces left. Um, let's look at, maybe take that out. And yeah, we've got enough to go that way. So we'll just alter it so we can get it all on. So we've got a bit of a T-junction. There we go, a bit of a T-junction there. Yeah, that will do. Okay, next thing I do is the buildings. So I'll think about where I want the buildings. Um, I'm going to make um, a bit of a, a built-up area in here. Let me do one. Um, that can sit like Lord of the Manor at the end of the road there. Okay, uh, next put some uh, walls out. Just throw these on for now. Excuse my back again. Right, so planning this out. Um, so if a, a vehicle comes off there, um, what we'll do is we'll put a um, corner piece in. Uh, thinking about the models as well, so they can run down and around the buildings. So that close to that. What I'll do is uh, when I've done as well, actually pick the camera up and we'll have a, a walk round just to have a look. Well, that's how you get out the back of the building. Some chairs out my way, and another corner here. There we go. So we got some inways there. Um, let's carry on this um, wall section down here for a bit. on this side. When I um, build the table as well, because um, it's usually me that does it on my own, because um, what I do is um, I've got uh, hopefully two games on the go tomorrow, uh, my cousin Wayne and my, uh, one of my daughters. Um, she obviously see me as she's been growing up playing war games and stuff like that, so she did play 40k at one stage. Um, but um, as she's watching me do this um, bolt action, it's uh, making a hum and all whether to have a game or not. So hopefully tomorrow, uh, after me and Wayne are finished, she might uh, join me for a game and I'll video that as well. Um, I should be uh, newest to it, so um, we'll go through some rules and that with her. Okay, so that's them walls. Uh, next. Got some more um, like uh, rock uh, wall replacements. We'll put them down the sides there. 
just so whatever edge you always think about if you're going to play here um, this is my side I could put all the hard cover on this side and not on the other so think about it if you um, if you're playing on both sides and that way you'll get a more fairer uh, placement of um, hard cover and soft cover and the like so yeah that's okay right next um, put some hedgerows in I am going to do a video about how I make hedgerows and fields um, just to show you cheap and easy way of doing them um, so put this this is just to finish the rows off and then I'll work, work on the fields uh, in a bit uh, the thing with these um, hedge pieces or if they're too long I can cut them down um, because like I won't go into detail what they're made of but you you probably figure that out uh, so they're easily cut down to the size you want them to okay uh, if you haven't got anything to use for uh, a, a road surface what you can do with the hedgerows is um, simply just for instance put them like that and then the, the bit in the middle is obviously uh, the road um, so you could do that or very minimum is um, get some uh, card put some uh, cut some cardboard out and make tons of roads and lay them down uh, I am on Facebook under uh, my original name but um, somebody asked um, was it Facebook or is it Instagram somebody asked me about my I think it was Instagram somebody asked me about um, how I go about making these and like I said I told them to keep their eyes open because one uh, when I get around to it I'll show you how to do these uh, hedges in the fields okay let's get some fields on the go now okay let's have one just outside this brick wall one on the other side maybe that's a little uh, roadway there as well um, what I also do with um, these mats as well is if you put a tree in each corner you could call that a wooded area so um, you, could, you know like I say you could have it open or as a wooded area just to um, you know use it in a bit more a few more ways let's put that one on the edge there uh, let's have one here some on this side now these um, fields you could either make on uh, difficult terrain or just operate like normal terrain which is what we do most of the time uh, we just have it as you know you can walk over it but you can give um, the rules like um, you know it slows down vehicles or you can't run through it, it it's how you want to um, have it portrayed in the game okay that's a few fields Let's have uh, another one over on this side looking a bit there. There's the, the road there. Okay, I think that'll do. Um, next, some more hedges. Let's just point all that. And let's put some uh, That's a bit of a longer one. Put that one there. I'll do that up to the edge of the table and box it in with its hedges. Do this one here. Sorry if I go quiet. Um, total con concentration. <laughs> okay, uh, one between those. Uh, a smaller bit actually. Okay. So 
Okay, we're fighting um, the next two games. We're fighting in uh, Normandy, so it's making it look a little bit European. Um, if we were doing a, a Russian one, we've only had one game with the Russians actually. Um, there's a piece I just need to cut. Uh, excuse me as I walk around the camera. Um, probably hear me from behind you. Uh, yeah, we've done one Russian game. What I tended to do was um, I had a look at some pictures of World War II and the Russian campaigns and everything and there's a lot of open areas uh, with a few woods here and there so on that Russian game we did um, that's um, what I did made a little uh, I made a small ruined uh, town and then the rest was all open uh, I had a wood on the, the end here um, so to make it more like that. Well, like I say, I want to get into uh, a Russian or a winter gaming table when we go. Uh, let's just blow that there. There's a green field there. Like I say, these um, hedgerows are, are so easy to do. As you can see, I've got tons of it. Um, but like I say, um, when I come to do that video, I'll uh, show you how I, I go about it. Um, I must admit as well that these hedges and fields are not my um, idea. Um, I, want, I saw them on a, a company years ago. Uh, used to be called Beasts of War. You've probably heard of them. They're now called uh, On the Tabletop. And they showed you how to do these. And it's fantastic. So I won't take the credit away from them. They deserve that full credit for showing me how to do it and then hopefully I'll show you right, a few more hedges over there now we're getting a bit too small so I'll cut that off there and this is the best bit about cutting them is um, you know it doesn't matter what size really you just Put them up together. Um, so, yeah, they're great. And that slips in there. Um, yeah, that's looking all right. I'm looking quite happy. I'm looking now at um, if I put from each side, uh, would I be happy doing that? And obviously, that makes it fair to whoever you're playing against as well. Don't set your table up thinking I'm going to go here on this side uh, and make it to uh, protect you more than the other person. You, you got to make it fair. Right, okay, I've got some uh, of the ruined buildings. I'm going to put some of these in, um, maybe not all of them. Um, let's say there used to be a house here. There we go. And that was a bit bigger than what it originally was, so I'll put that on the end. These uh, are from Warlord Games. It's the um, the ruined Hamlet, I think it's called the box set. You get three buildings and all these pieces. So all, all what you see here with these is um, that box set. Um, one there. So if I'm fighting on this side, that will give you a viewing and cover there. So I'll go to the other side. Um, yeah. Um, I'm going to turn that building actually because on the ends of these smaller ones there's no uh, windows or doors to shoot out of. So you haven't got good cover. So I'm just going to reposition that one. So everywhere's got somewhere they can shoot and in cover as well. Um, I think that's going to be it for the buildings actually, it's a bit too much. But it's always good to have cover because it um, keeps the game going. Um, I think that's going to be it. Okay, next down here I've got a box with my trees. Um, again, some of my trees, when I was making the hedgerows, what I did, uh, I don't know if you can see that, is glue the hedges into the uh, the trees into the hedges so all you have to do is swap and i've got some trees straight on the field like that um that'll be enough for them as well 
so I just look where I can swap them out afterwards once I've got my initial um, setup down. Um, let's see. That go there. Yeah. I'll do that. And then the other trees I've got loose. So I'll just pop them around to. Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, unfortunately, you've seen um, my phone uh, run out of memory. So it shut off as, as I was, um, gosh, get my words right as well. I think I've run out of memory. Um, as I was placing the final trees, uh, the camera shut off. So what I'll do is I'll have a walk around with you now. And uh, we'll have a look at the, the battlefield from a few various um, shots. So there we go. There we go. So as you can see, this road leads down into the, um, the main uh, manor, you could call it. Um, his neighbours. And then from the other side. There we go. Um, some room buildings to hide. Um, snipers or spotters um or is the bait now what i did do as well is um sorry I nearly dropped the camera put these wooden fences in um just to put a bit more stuff there these wooden fences um i've made myself from um, coffee stirrers uh that made them all as you can see some are still uh, spray black but i'll get around to them uh, they just had a bit of something else on your battlefield. Um, talking about the battlefield and uh, in one of my videos, um, I think it was the introduction one, talked about house rules um, that we bring in. If we're not sure on something, we'll discuss it in game and take it from there. But usually before we start, we discuss what's what. So like I said, the, these fields, uh, they could be just like, a plain ploughed field and have no effect or you can make them difficult uh, where you can't run, run across them or vehicles can't cross them um, also as well uh, on this side um, I don't know if you got this on uh, the video before it shut the battery shut down but um, these square mats are good for showing uh, a wooded area so I'll put a tree in each corner and then the actual square of the mat is the outskirts of the, the wood. Uh, you can put uh, trees in the middle as well, uh, just to make it a bit more uh, beefier trees. But as you know, they get in the way and they just get moved. So I just put them in the corner. And as long as we're all clear on that, that's fine. Um, obviously, the brick walls are hard cover. Hedges are soft cover. Uh, buildings hardcover as well <clears throat> but because there's so many hedges what we tend to do is discuss beforehand now what we like doing is if you can see these troops here basically if you're in both in the fields and um, there's a hedge in the way but nobody's really up to it what we call that is open ground until you actually get to it and touch the fence now they're in hardcover and they're in the open and the same the other way around as well. This guy moved up. He's in, sorry, I said hard cover. He's in soft cover, and uh, these are in the open. And another thing we do as well, if there's two hedges between you, uh, and you're both not up to it, uh, we discuss on the day, but you can either say you're still in the open until somebody gets to it and they claim the soft cover, or you just say you're both in soft cover until you have that again where there's only one between you and you're both in the open and so on you move up and you're in uh, soft cover and the other guy's in the open but that, that's just a house rule we go through so that's it guys that's the uh, battlefield um, all ready for tomorrow like I say hopefully two games um, so uh, I'll be filming both if we do get them both uh, it depends if my daughter can get here or not and uh, also Wayne, who you've not met yet, um, he's coming down tomorrow morning, hopefully, again. Because um, in the lockdown, obviously, when we started um, bolt action, 
Um, that's when we started learning the the rules, and we were playing every other week. Um, so we've clipped up a few games, and that's when I decided to start um, putting things on YouTube and hopefully helping people out. Um, because I'm a journey with Bolt Action as well, um, I was looking for a lot of things on YouTube, and some of it just wasn't there or just not quite um, filling in what I was after. But there are tons of stuff on YouTube that are very, very good. Uh, the painters, the gamers, uh, battle reports, uh, and everything like that. So um, there's still stuff there, but I think, hopefully, I'm covering some, some stuff that isn't uh, there. And if I am, I apologise, and uh, I'll just be going over things again. So, uh, with that, and once again, just let me apologise for... Uh, going out of uh, memory on my phone. I have got a um, 120 meg uh, gigabyte uh, card in it, um, but for some reason it didn't flick from my phone's memory to the cards. So if anybody can put in the comments down below how I do that in future, or is there a way of using the card first rather than my own memory, uh, my own memory, my own phone memory. Um, yeah, any comments of how I could go about that? Please put them down. Be very grateful for that. So the next time you see this field, um, it will be with a game on the go. Um, you'll probably uh, see the games before this um, video. Um, so I've got a lot of stuff uh, on my um, to-do list for videos. Um, so yeah, you'll probably see the games before this. And if you do, this is how we uh, built it. Thanks again uh, for watching, guys. And remember, make it, paint it, and play it. And I'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot.